You've already seen the importance of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, like its use at the mass vaccination clinic at Arrowhead Stadium. With only one shot needed, it's become a tool to overcome some obstacles, the biggest being accessibility. They're not able to get into a car and go to a vaccine clinic, and so that's why we have to find a way to get the vaccines to them. Only on 41 Action News, reporter Ariel Rothfield shows us how one partnership is getting shots into the arms of those who are homebound. If there's one thing the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us all, it's how lonely it can feel to be alone. Getting more thank yous and saying we appreciate you doing this or being there. That's why Judy volunteers with Meals on Wheels. You get your little path and you just keep going. Which never stopped during the pandemic. COVID has made it even more difficult to serve them, but even more important. Janet Baker is the executive director of Casey Shepherd Center, which coordinates the program. Beyond food, she worries some of the Metro's most vulnerable residents have been left out of the COVID-19 vaccine supply. They're not able to get into a car and go to a vaccine clinic, and so that's why we have to find a way to get the vaccines to them. This month, the Shepherd Center teamed up with Truman Medical Centers and Kansas City Hospice, getting more than 100 vaccines into the arms of those who are homebound. They also vaccinated volunteers like Sibley. I definitely didn't want to give it to anybody that I delivered to. Ensuring that this service continues, and those who are older or homebound not only get a warm meal to eat, but warm conversation and company to safely enjoy. I feel bad they're sitting in their houses by themselves. They've got to be bored to death. And, you know, I'll just stand there and chat with them a little bit and hopefully brighten their day a little bit. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.